You know, leading up to Champs this year, it felt like it was something different, and it was. It was unlike any other Champs that we've ever been to, simply because there was this sort of last Champs uh, to it. And for me, having uh, been a part of the transformation and the evolution of the league as it stands, and Call of Duty as it stands, and everything else that's been created in the last 10 years, um, it was sort of a culmination of, of many dreams coming together to create this one massive vision that Krim and Karma, you know, they're, they're, they're getting a little bit older and as much as they're passionate about the game, you know, the game's evolving and although they're doing a really good job at keeping up with it, obviously tremendous performances by them, bar a couple of games here and there. I wish somebody told us when the good days were happening so we would enjoy them a little bit more when you were living the good days. I know that I'm living those right now. I know that I'm getting to experience and witness, you know, two of the most legendary esports players in the world in Karma and Crim6 and even Seth uh, compete that I get to enjoy every single one of these moments and live them to, to, to the fullest and no end. So I'm, uh, I'm not too down on, the, on their performances in the last two years. I can't be. I understand competition. I know what it's like to lose. And it's a game of win and lose. There's winners and losers, and sometimes it's your turn to lose. Out for Octane. He looks to deny, but no! The 1v2! TJ with the nade! TJ has to make the play! But no! Enable shut him down! looked at every all the history that we've done since 2011 like who else has this where like I literally won't have optic ever again from the beginning when we were shit till the end when we were everything every single moment is my favorite moment I will not change would not change anything that I've done in the past 10 to 12 years 13 years 14 years I cannot change anything would not change anything because we did it perfectly I found some of my closest friends in life through this I have hundreds of thousands of friends that I've never met it, it, I wouldn't trade it for the world so my favorite moment my favorite moments right now the way that we did it for so many years by ourselves and I'm talking about you me and everybody in my circle. Think about who's, think about every single member of Optic and what they have gone on to do. And then compare it to every other esports organization out there. No one has a story like us. And you say to yourself, we gotta be like Optic, right? And if you get lucky enough, and if you do everything right, you may be bigger than Optic. You may dwarf Optic. Optic may be nothing in comparison to what you build. But guess what? You're not Optic. No one will ever be Optic again. I can live with that. It literally took an entire year of turmoil on all levels in order for us to have to reshape and rebuild and do whatever it is that we needed to do together, us versus everybody, and we still made it happen, as we always do, because together we stand, together we fall, together we are the Green Ball.
It looks like he's gonna go for the full cap right away. As Envoy, can he finish it? He does. A three cap is in for Chicago. So it's big now. If you're at home to kind of watch this mini map and see where those blue arrows are spawning, where are they gonna prioritize to try and get the break? Because they've got to pick a side. Right now, absolutely punished by this three cap from Huntsman. It's an 11 and 4 start from Formal that is going off. For the green side, five down yet again. Dallas dropping like fly. Chicago taking over. Formal with the multi kill as the three cap continues. Finally, something in the kill feed for Illy and Dallas as they'll look to get C back. But there's and still, still there. From Huntsman. Yeah, Envoy is still there, just trying to stay alive. Pook's trying to hunt him down. Finally, they should be able to get C, but what a hold from that three cap for Chicago. And now a 30 point lead. Big plays. It was done in the opening moments. Gunless set the tempo. Formal backed it up with the 10 spree, and Empire get just destroyed in this map three. Huntsman looking strong, Joe. Yeah, I mean, it was similar to, to map number one. Where Take a look at the static cam inside. You can see RCDs with the cheeky position up top. It's Envoy, though, that shuts down three with the triple, but up over the top with the Haymaker. It's RCDs and the MP5 that locate the hills. There, kills, there's a contestant just for a moment that shot that's able to get inside, but it's Arsenis once again just finessing around these boxes in forklift. They have, them to get up in. they have to get in. I mean, there's 30 seconds for Chicago to take this series, and Contest comes in for a second or two, but they have to get in. And well, behind those kills, Chicago's going to get some breathing room. Here comes the final push for Dallas. We'll see if they're able to get inside and at least extend this to another center hill. Our city's now 38 22, two minutes in the hard point, but it's scum formal in the I point. think it's done. Lighten it up. Eight more seconds needed. Can Empire get in? Can they get a touch or will it in here? Nobody is getting in. to spawn envoy trying to stay alive can his teammates spawn him slashers trying to hunt him down he's able to get another kill but it looks like the option give me la team still gonna spawn a pretty darn close but now they have to flood through envoy continues what a play from him and that's the big thing though even if you don't have those spawns the fact that you have them is in now for them to come through and that's five in a row six in a row we've seen some wild comebacks in the history of call of duty but not not many in this game yet yeah, it's just it's going to be tough for those like crazy 100 point comebacks on Modern Warfare. They get control of Town Center. That could be the final tick there. And Huntsman. And he loses the gunfight. Now things get very, very interesting. The plan in. A kill for Gunless. Formal is going to fall though. Two versus four now for the Huntsman. Slasher drops. Scuff and Gunless. They come in to take him down. Scuff once again. When you're down in numbers, it doesn't matter because the King Awakens. Five in a row for Scuff. They got to work to the fuse. They can't get it done. And that Only one or two more pushes to go for Optic Gaming. The lead changes in. Formal, he lines two up. That might do it. That might end up doing it. They're not going to have many pushes at all. 
Formal with the lovely shots. That's five in a row and a triple to go with it. Formal finding a new angle, repositioning. Their push is in. It's desperation time now for Optic. Did they do enough to get on through? It boy is still there, but he will fall. Gunless in. We'll follow it up. 15 seconds on the clock. Mathematically, it is done. Optic is done. Huntsman take a convincing three. All the way at spiral, so that's a great heads up play. So even if you don't close it out here, you set yourself up for next. That was wonderfully done, and obviously you're in desperation mode now for Empire. You're flooding, you're flooding, you're flooding, but what a great flip and heads up play from Scum. It's almost one of those situations where you just earn all this time if you're Dallas. Just try to hit yourself as close as possible and make the next hill insane, right? Just make it chaos, get those smokes out, get on the hill. What a map from Clay, man. 37 and 21 on the hard point. But is it going to be enough? He's going off now. Three kills in a row. They've done what you ask. Get as much time as you can. You're going to get this so close to being a victory. They're going to give up the final couple of seconds as they hope maybe they can catch some entries in transition, but that won't be the case. Formal, Scum, Envoy go huge. Everybody drops, and now spawning out the west side of the cave is going to be Empire. Huntsman need 20 more points to close this out. They've got the setup, but two have now dropped. Here comes the big push. This is the big moment in this map one. Off to the races we go. Still holding strong inside of the hard point is the Huntsman. Now just five points away. A double from Formal, a triple from Formal, and that'll do it. Empire put to bed. It's a Huntsman map one win. He's in Gunless trying to clutch up in a two versus four. Area. They're able to find our cities. Now it's all down to Gunless. He only needs to get a killer. They let up! He couldn't quite finish it. Did he hop off it? He did hop off it for a second. No, he's right back on it. Get up there. Go! He's gotta go! He got to it! Can he get there in time? Can he get there in time? I think he got it! They have it. He's gotta be terrified. They're already on it. Now Gunless helps him. He's got to try and get the again, but Scum's got the angle. Scum's got the angle! Crim 6 drops in the round 11 to Huntsman! 2-0 edge! This could close the game. This could close the game. Every single tick spells death in doom for Empire. It's looking like we might have a 3-0 in our first ever home series final. Who else? Envoy now with five in a row. Out to 28 and 17. This is on a mission, man. This is ridiculous to watch. And now it's just at a point where you have to have a three cap if you're going to bring this back. And as each second goes by, the comeback becomes impossible for Empire. Huntsman came in the favorites. We knew Atlanta Phase wasn't going to be here this weekend. Huntsman needed to get this W. Huntsman will get this W as they assert their dominance over the competition in London. As the final seconds tick away, that does it. Chicago, Huntsman are your winners at the London Home Series Final. Sky Swords forward, Huntsman are crumbling, they are falling before our eyes, one more round needed for Florida. But the first one, again to the Mutineers, it's Frosty with the opening pick, Formal backing up with Dead Silence, Sight Control over to Mutineers, again just picking them apart. And when there has to be trades, there's not trades. There's just not trades. Our cities and gunless. It all falls to them to try and clutch up. 2v3. Yeah, 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 just go forward. They're trying to flank. 2v2 now. This is the type of momentum shift. We still have havoc as well. Havoc has any good spot. Set up deep. Connects on the shots. It's all to our cities to try and cut. He can't do it.
and gentlemen, welcome back. The Call of Duty League returns. I even think about the players. Like, now they have to make sure they focus up when they're playing against other teams and get into right. that, like, game mentality from the comfort of their own home. Now that we're switching to online, it's just it's like Florida to find themselves in the spot in the grand final. Keep the slate clean against the Huntsman. 28 and 27 now for Skies. He makes his way forward. Frosty has been the man of the map right now. He's got himself 38 kills and they've still got the time. Mox trying to find something here, but again, the Huntsman have pushed no them way. out. They've managed to break the hard point for now, but you've got to keep the spawners out from the back. Skunky with the kills. They just keep on coming. Now the push from Florida. Envoy in the back. The shots are there, but they've gone on to the point with that one. The Florida Mutineers have done it, and they find themselves a spot in their grand final year of the Dallas Home Series. Chicago needs to change something. I'm getting flashbacks of just a minute and a half ago when that C flag was so, so close. But look at Clayster. He's pulling off a Zuma right now as he's pulled off a flank. He's gone for the neutralization. The trophy system is down. All resources from the Huntsman have been sent towards C. And now he's neutralized it, taking points away from the Huntsman. He will get the cap, but it won't really matter. This is almost but over. It's almost but over. There was a battle going on towards B, which Krim won. Now we go straight back in there for Envoy. C is now looking very, very safe and secure for Dallas. The clock is ticking down. Phil and I think it may be over. I think that may be all she wrote for the Chicago Huntsman. Here is the Dallas Empire. They have absolutely stormed their way through the first two maps and there was great signs of life here for Chicago in the Dom. But at the end of the day, it was a few key moments, a few magical plays there on the flags from Dallas and they've only gone and done it. 29 and 17 for Shotzi in the end and it's a swift 3-0. Dallas Empire wins. The rumor out there, Chicago Huntsman could be trying to buy out, or potentially already have bought out, the brother of their current member. Yes, Arsty's twin brother, Pristini, could be on his way to Chicago Huntsman sometime soon. Huntsman, Pristini, and Scum lighting things up. Arsty's able to get one more with surviving, and look at this, Bill. We're 10 seconds away now for the win for Huntsman. A versatile player in RCTs, 33 and 24, he's used the MP5, the M4, everything in between, and with four seconds left, no one even close to coming through, as the Huntsmen are going to take map number one. I'm very, very interested to see the stat line at the end of this one. Definitely go for a neutral on A. Huntsmen, they've got this map right now, 152 to 144. They're going to keep those flags going. Here it is. on A for the now. Can they get the neutral? Scum wins the two, and that was big. Still zeroes there to try to get the final moments. The spawns for the Huntsman so close to the A flag. Neutralizing C Muskin. as well. Muskin. Muskin wins the 1v1 as well. Final 10 seconds. Is anyone in position to make this happen? They're going to get A back now. This will contest on A. Four seconds. They need the neutral. They need the neutral. With two seconds left, 154 to 152. We see the cap come through for the Huntsman. And the Huntsman get one point off that home flag. And again, clutch of in just one point. That neutralization was so important for the Ravens. They are not letting this go. Get the push now from the rear from the Huntsman. They hold on to the top side. The Ravens trying to make the entries, but the kill team is just pure Huntsman, man. It's disgusting. Yeah, the Huntsman it's are disgusting. absolutely tearing this one. And going into the Seattle home series, a lot of people doubted them. People looked at Minnesota, New York, Seattle themselves, even everyone in between. But the Huntsman reigns supreme. There's only two points is needed. It is going to go to the Huntsman, and they are the champions today. moving forward. Arsys is in a really tough spot now. He's got a pistol in hand. There's going to be a duel right now between he and Aqua. He's going to come out on top. Aqua's going to come out. And oh boy, the round. C's 
made safe again, and it's just pandemonium. Look at that, 161 leading 145. That's going to be hit, Phil. There's no chance, surely, in hell right now. It was all fun and games, but the Huntsman, they clutched up when they needed to. Now, again, I don't want to jinx it, but Gorillas should, I repeat, should win this. They've got full control. They have trophies. They have every single position. Locked down with seven points is all they need. The pre-fire is coming through. Envoy tries it. He's got to reload. Vivi's got to reload. Scoop gets in. Decimate does as well. Decimate comes out on top. Formal in the mid. Formal in a one versus three to keep your team in the tournament. He's on defense. Bombs now been had. Making his way forward. Former has nothing to throw at this, but his AR. And it's over! Zuma, Zuma's coming on a big flank. He's able to find one as he stayed alive in two-story just out front. There he goes. He's trying to cut off the reinforcements, and I think with that, due to his presence, they are going to break. 20 seconds remaining on the hard point, and here we go. Arsenis just desperate looking for an angle, but Attach is already here. Zuma able to look over the top, but in they come flying in. It's four kills for Subliners, though. That might be enough. They can't get close. Subliners again. It's going. Uh, for City, though, he's going to get first blood, and this is just a rotate off. So they're using the smokes to get caught. Or sorry, to just try and rotate, but Mac, he's going to catch Arsenis. Zuma. Zuma, Zuma shuts it down today once again. And now it's just on Scump. Can he pull off a miraculous 1v5? Not gonna happen. Oh, it is a fast 3-0, and what a performance it was. Congrats to Temp on his first win. Mac, his first win. Subliners do it for the first time. The second team all year to win their home series event. from the role department. It's impressive. One of the many talented players that rounds out this star-started Chicago Huntsman lineup as they'll look to try to break on into ruins, looking to do so through that back barbershop position. Mid-previous hill spawns, it looks as if Chicago Huntsman have officially flipped things now into their favor. Scott being a major factor in doing so. Oh, no, absolutely not. You see the Huntsman picking up kills when it comes down to trying to hold this hard point, but having a 100-point lead for the subliners, you know, you just can test here and there. You're going to be fully set up towards that barber shop. He's he just picking up kills left and right, making sure no pressure is going to be coming through from the front side of this hill. Five seconds needed for the subliners. So far, so good. Possible contestion coming in from the Huntsman, but no. Subliners are happy to get this one down exactly when they do, but Temp has to be careful of his positioning. Chicago are just hoping to get him out of the way with nades, and the utility will in fact work out. RCD setting up shots, decides to go for the challenge. Can he take down Mac? And he does. A great reaction as two players fall early for the Subliners. Whole plant position, you can argue it's not ideal. Reason being is Prestini is on the flank, and now it's up to accuracy all by himself. A one versus four. But can he keep it alive? Can he try to get these players off for the defuse? And no, it's not going to happen. Chicago will clutch up in round 11. Now Mac desperately trying to hop onto that B flag. He gets cut down. And now it is New York pretty much back to the drive board, back to their spawns over at C. It's here comes the attack yet again. The trophies are here. Can Scump go big to try to shut down the flurry of New York? And he does end up dropping formal the next line. Defense, the smoke is out, and the M4 can't be hot enough as Chicago with the advantage. However, just in that moment, the subliners do manage to get back, and they do anything in these final moments. Accuracy wins a big one. They've now got control over at A here, stunning. 
That was beautifully executed out of Envoy right there. He was able to pick up two kills around that bathroom area to get that neutralization towards C. Only being down four points, they can only get a, a possible two points in the next 10 seconds. As I say, that neutralization is going to come in on C, and the Huntsmen are going to be able to close up this map number three. But Envoy just made such a... Now they're only, they can hold this entire hill right here and win the game. You just need to stop at least two pushes from the Huntsman coming in. You see a player, you see a couple players from the subliners just playing corners, not trying to put too much risk out there, just trying to get every kill possible. A couple players coming in front of Zuma, he's able to take down one. Puts a sh couple shots into the second player, but his teammate's able to trade that. Now no only needing 15 more points. Huntsman have one more push. Someone needs to go big and pop a two-piece. Rossini's gonna try to start it off with a kill onto Temp. Able to win the second versus attack. RCD's coming in as well with Hold the on. third kill. It comes a little contested. Time is going in favor of the Huntsman, but Zuma with the big two-piece on that flank. Probably gonna be able to close up this map number four. Not gonna be an easy attempt to try and retake the site, especially considering who's on the other side of it. RCD's quick to engage off the start, and Scump is there for the trade. Chicago getting an early engagement in the meantime. Scump, can he find one? In fact, how about two? That pistol shot is nice, but only a few seconds left. Then try to go for the plant, but no time. Tosses out the nade. Tries to go for the engagement. He's trying to be aware of what could be a bait and switch situation, but says hello to Prestini. The trade is there. Still hanging out. Mac wants no early engagement that he's not prepared for. He will spot the body model of Formal. Keeping in mind, the Formal does in fact have the bomb. Mac does get shut down. And again, it's left on to attach and accuracy. Make it solely accuracy. Bomb being planted. Accuracy doing all he can just to try to make a play. But just in terms of what players that could be through mid-map, but they don't really care. They're going to toss up the smoke and actually make their way through arches. But Arsene's here. Tempt, though. Wants none of it. A motivated man coming into champs. Temp wins a huge 1v1, but this could be Scump's opportunity yet again. Just sees the bomb has been planted. Can he catch the edge of Temp? He does. Finds the first pick. Envoy in the meantime takes down Zuma. A two versus two. In which the first engagement drops on in. Say goodbye to Mac. And it's all going to be on to attach. Who gets met by the nade. Open, if you want to call it that. Formal. Cut down. Mac. Able to win the first, and here comes the second engagement. He and Zuma together, combining well. Envoy Arcees, though, able to level the playing field. Another two versus two situation. Can Chicago clutch up again? Here comes the first. Envoy wins it. as well so that first wave is done look at this spawn yeah this is what Four happens hundreds. when you don't have scump to, to find three kills on the rotation uh, yeah. a much different story in atlanta phase they can win map number one right here major maniac he takes down two on nice boy shot. the last player left but he's gonna have to go he's gonna get cut down maven that should do it we'll watch the final seconds go through phase close it out A very important match for Huntsman to try and tie it up 1-1. The early story for this, but this is the round 11. Here we go. Phase on offense. Look at the aggression from Chicago. Look at the aggression. This is like a blind counter out of the Huntsman. They have called this correctly. You have Pristini and Envoy working through middle of the broken. It's going to be a fast plan from Atlanta. This could be a very quick round for either side. Pristini with the first blood, now just trying to play his life. I love that play. They're going to regroup for the retake. He's able to get out with his life, but everyone already here from Huntsman can priest to get out of this situation with his life. Huntsman have all grouped up towards the back. They want to bully their way through with the numbers. 35 seconds on the clock. Priest is just trying to stay up, not able to do it. He's going to drop now. Three versus five for phase. Two versus five. Everybody's dropping. The call is there from Huntsman. They all fall. Huntsman clutch up in the round 11. Another three kills. 
And they just have so much map pressure. As soon as I said that, formal response, though. So now Sailor's going to have to hop on C. Just no time to do it. 30 seconds remaining. And really, I mean, it probably this half comes down to those two big pushes towards A for Huntsman. And, like, what, what's tough for them is it wasn't in a spot usually where it was, like, what, three plus down where you get an opening across. Like, both times they're trying to... But Huntsman in control. Now comes the wave from Faze. There's an entry kill from Abizi, but Simp will fall as well. Selium, Abizi fall right after. Big kills from the brother duo in our cities and Pristini. They've got set up for next, but they're going to be in such a hole. I mean, this could be a 90 point or so disadvantage if Huntsman lock up the rest of this time. Starting to look like a desperation mode for Faze as Envoy comes up with the big triple. Snaps on Acelium, some beautiful shots. Look at all this pressure that Major Maniac has to deal with. He is in a world of trouble right now. There's still such close spawns for Atlanta Faze, and it looks like they're going to deal with this push. Or are they? Or are they? It looks like Formal was able to stay alive, and then everybody spawns on him. A all restaurant, they did a wondrous job here last time through. Uh, we were talking about uh, Scump. I didn't even see a BZ on the other side. It's already over 30 kills. But can they hold on? Here comes the push. Formal, he's starting to light it up. Eight kills in a row. He breaks on through. Pristini, he's on the hill. Five points away from closing out game number four. There's the break. There's the break. They get in. They close it out. He's pulled it on this map a couple of times. Uh, I think Pharaoh's another guy that like, comes to mind and pull it yep. out for a round, get a pick, and that's all they'll get. But now you wish you had something else, or do you? The pistol does it. Abizi's going to fall. Brustini finds the kill. And he's now yeah. close. Yeah. Tying this up at 4 4, but somehow they've got to work this plan now. If Faze are going to do this, that's going to be bombed down. Backside construction. The round likely falls apart there. Well, there's just so many angles to check. They finally find Pristini, but I, I, they don't have time. The bombs towards the back door. They're going to spot Envoy, but that's it. I don't think they have time. Scump just needs to try to stay alive. Yeah, yeah Scump's out. Check the bombs out. Yeah, Scump, Scump's headed to Petra. Look, he is out of there. He was just flying across the map. Tied up 4-4. Four, four, the big time. It's time he's right because it's like you have to check the angle, but then he could be somewhere else. If he's got yep. daddy, he could hear you. It's, 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 it's a risk. And that was a big kill by... For Steeny too, because he's in what a pistol versus MP5 fight there against the BZ. Not no, an easy I, win. I think, yeah, Not like an easy two win. Hip fire headshots. I have no idea. No that play got melted. He absolutely did, but that was a big one to kind of slow down the push. So this is a B stack. I mean, who is that? Major Maniac needs to try to stay alive, and he does. Big one on one win for him. This envoy threw up. He threw up. Oh, he threw a big <laughs> one. Major Maniac here's RCDC. He's finesse. What were we just talking come, about? Come man? into my what web. Come about? into my web. Major Maniac going off. That is bombed down as he locks down construction and yeah, tosses on the construction hat like Shawnee and locks it up. Now all on Scump. It was a one versus five and he's taking one down, but good luck. It's a little bit easier. The time is against him. Just trying to find what he can. Yeah, they're gonna let him plan if he wants it. He's reading this pretty darn well. The BZ able to stay alive. Still has dead silence available. He needs to get a kill and reset it somehow. Yeah. He needs somebody to kill in the next couple of seconds. It'd be right, massive, it. but it's not going to happen. Selium with the read. He'll get it. The defuse will come in for phase, and they will go up 5 4. One round away from being guaranteed $600,000. Map 5. All right, so they're going for B, and th this is the problems, right? This, this B site for Atlanta phase. It feels like it's just so difficult for you, them to get the bomb down. You have Envoy, who has rotated over, but Mazer Maniac has been so clutch. 12 kills in this game five for City. He's ready at the door. 25 seconds. They're finally going to go oh, for the plan, oh. but guess what? Guess who's there? There's no smoke on the bomb again. They're going to have to push, and they're going forward. Simp able to find one. Scump wins another one. Scump's going to get traded out, though. It's all going to be the formal. And he clutch up for the one versus two. Ten seconds to go. He can't quite make it a 1v1. A beast, he's able to turn. He's able to snap.
P5 is on point. And it, well, he just does his job right away, doesn't he? That's a very quick flip uh, for Supply Depot. Draws it trying to stay alive for Optic Gaming. Oh, the oh, boy. They got yeah, the envoy. Yeah, he got spotted, though. He had dead silence up. Yeah, he was trying to make the play to flip for the spawns. Uh, but as you said, Optic Gaming, if they've been in the rotations. It feels like they're playing well. They're just not executing. Uh, on the hills, informal, he continues. 14 and 8 now. Really starting to go off with this M4. The shot is on point. They earned a ton of time. They have a 70 point lead. It's you are where they put a lot. And I think you ended up with a two on two over there. Or two versus two, but like formal just the one that goes big. He takes yep. the gunfight, he takes it, and now they're in striking distance of closing this out. Is Optic are spawning out so deep, trying to clear them out of the hard point, make sure they can't win it here, but also trying to battle for those depot spawns. Envoy now, spots him. Beautiful shot from him, and here we go. It comes down to depot depot. Pushes in, draws it, trying to go all the way around. But he's got to wait for his teammates. They are just so staggered right now, but we'll see what he can find. And it's been messy here all game long. Regardless game. of who has had control, this has not been a cleaner controlled hard Guys point. got spawns. Huntsman up 10, spawns in for Optic, four kills in a row for Optic, and then now got into the point. Is this going to be another clutch for Optic Gaming? 20 po more points needed to close it out. They haven't held well all game. Can they hold here? One massive hold needed, but it's formal over the top that's trying to make the plays. And Pristini bursting in through the back door, trying to do it as well. Huntsman going to get in, Optic spawning out. It's not over yet. Not over yet, but seven more seconds and it will be here. comes the Optic Gaming push. Rio down for Chicago. And I think uh, Optic get the tick here. Optic actually get the tick. So there has to be oh a my contest God. from Chicago. There has to be a contest and Envoy with the knife. Did he get in? He did. So now it's on this rotation and guess who? It's Formal who is set up. Go, go, go. Optic's got to fly. Huntsman are in. Three points needed. Can't they contest? Someone's got to do There's a first blood you get and you get traded out instantly. And there's a first blood where you stay alive and are still a threat on the map. And that's what draws this ball in, right? Like, he's gotten the first blood and still been a threat. And that, that right is just back. a dangerous first blood. But here they go. Going right back towards A. And there was one of those first bloods where Envoy quickly gets traded. But, you know, just trying to switch things up for Optic Gaming. Hitting A two times in a row. I mean, usually we might see this hit once a map for both yeah. teams. Well, oh, Kenshin yeah. has Huntsman off guard is... Now they have the man advantage. Yeah, Scump, uh, just, just guessed the wrong way. I thought his Kenny, like, shot was a little bit shaky at first. Like, this is going to be interesting. But now down to a two versus two we go. A ton of time to work with. Where do Optic want to go with this bomb? It's going to be the twins. And Arsenis and Bristini looking to clutch. Arsenis gets the kill now to Kenny, who's been so, so good in search and destroy. He He's just trying to... One, me too. Trying to make a play for Teddy because it had it popped. He would love to reset it. Now he's going to have to plant. Chicago's going to give it to him. Maybe. Right? Now he's going to go for it. He thought he heard something for a second. Well, this is going to be tough. That silence popped for Pristine. Or sorry. No, it's not. That was, now it's popped for him. Here comes the push. He's just trying to watch so many different angles. Got himself into a good position. He's going to spot Whoa. one, but there we go. We've seen a lot of A hits out of Optic. This time looks to be a little bit more standard. PJ so good from this position. Oh, why did he not spot him? I think he might have, but... The way he reacted, I was like, I didn't think he spotted him, but the call does come in. Kenny and Quavo are able to pick up two together. Formal able to answer back and turn this into a three versus three. Hollows in over the top there with the trade. Nice read in the bathrooms, but Skump puts them in the blender. 2v2 now with a minute to go. TJ's hip fire is going to be on point. Pristini, what a moment this could be for him. He can clutch up. He gets the information. He gets the spot, but he takes some shots and has to back out of it for now. And he's not going to have dead silence to use. This is going to be so, so hard once this bomb gets planted. Can he get Slasher and make it a 1v1? Can't quite finish it. Mm. Slasher's going to get out with his life. He needs that kill. He needs that kill. Still giving him an opportunity. Both players sort of just shoulder peeking it, trying to get that info. Slasher's going to come back to the rock in such a strong position. Shots here, shots there. Not to Gaming do it. Never easy, but if he kills Slasher there, either before the plan or after, very, very winnable, but can't quite do it. Optic close it out, and they'll go up 5-3. Pristini was terrific. 
in the map one, just uh, not finding that same success here in Search and Destroy. One in six for now, but maybe now he can make an impact. He spotted Kenny Mini Hurt steps, though. Yeah, he heard, heard a steps lot of steps. Him. Yeah, he's got a little bit nervous, so he's just prone and just trying to play his life. This actually sets him up for the flank. This sets him up big time. We'll see what Pristini can do. But all of Octa Gaming are towards B. Look at this stack from them. Just trying to catch him. And when you're all that close, you gotta watch out for those nades. But it's Scump up top. He spots one. Can he get the second? Hollow's gonna back down with the numbers. All to Chicago. The round should be them. And here comes Pristini. Finally able to pounce. And yeah, if you threw that frag grenade anywhere, it's probably hitting something. The arsenal oh. that Octa Gaming has. It looks like they're gonna try and do it through middle. Who is that envoy and scump? Gonna try and take vent room away. But look at what you have. You already have Hollow and Draws is set up. We're gonna hear TJ. Sneaky, sneaky. Doesn't have Daddy. And I think they know something's up. But there's another nade first blood, and those nades have come in yeah. clutch. Those lethals have been connecting, been so massive for them, gonna make it so much harder on the offense to get this bomb down. He's trying to watch the flank. TJ going to peek for a second, get some information, able to stay alive for now, and has Daddy up. TJ now going to push it. Go I, I have no idea how TJ gets through and finds both kills, what? but TJ makes the play. Kenny gets two as well, and now it's all on RC to do it. He's been spotted. Yeah, that was actually, that did jump out to me, like that basically Opti was like 50-50 on every single map. Is yeah, they have not had a great year, but... Yeah, Opti and River. I tried, I tried, Dylan, I tried. That's one first, that's one first. Yeah, get it, guys, get it, get it. That's one shot, that's one shot. Nice, definitely. Coming on deep river, coming on deep river. They're really good. He's on deep, 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 deep. I hear, 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 I'm gonna play for him. Yeah, I'm with him. Right now, pipe us to your resty, be careful. Yeah, he's top resty on you. Nice, good job. We're back. And that might be it, but this is what I was talking about. It, it just feels like Optic Gaming. They know exactly what they want on this map and how they want to play it. it it's really fun to watch. Uh, just how they're moving as a squad. Draza, not the craziest stat line, but he's got seven caps on the flag. And you talk about B and how difficult it is. He's the smoke guy. He's the key player. Great. They don't want to lose spawns for electronic shop. Yeah, Pristini in a great position. It was putting a crossfire in from top platform. There's still a contest though, and who is it? It's the Smoke Master in Draza trying to do what he can, but Pristini lighted it up. Had a great game one. Not the best games two and three, but already a five kill spree from him. Yeah, he's going off, and they're going to need him to do it. Pristini with some long range shots with the MP5. He's able to hit and now into ruins. Here we go. Slasher gonna get caught mantling over. Huntsman are inside. They can win the game here. TJ, no. TJ's going on a pinch. TJ's going on a pinch. But Pristini, Pristini continues to have another great hard point. But I talked about TJ. He's still alive. Finally taken down. Slasher with the M4 allows them to contest. But formal in our seat. The duo with the assault rifles locking it down. 10 points away from victory and a ton of time to go on the point. They can do it here. They can push it to a map five. They're trying to hold it inside. Four are going to drop for Optic. That might be the game. Kenny, the last one in position. Just not in a spot to contest it. Huntsman. Doing a little bit of dance here with Envoy. And that doesn't connect, so I don't think he's gonna realize he's there. The shots are gonna end. Draza can't finish it. The Simtex, though, might do it. It's gonna force him to move. That's gonna be bombed down. Beams in from Draza towards the top window. Two players from Huntsman out of the mix. Yeah, nice oh, little hollow. cross setup right there on a Draza and Hollow. Slasher's gonna come through as well, but they just take care of the middle of the map. And it's T TJ trying to snipe Pristini. <laughs> Hits the nade. That what call TJ from Optic do? was oh, aggressive man. at A. Yeah, this is going to be an absolute swarm onto TJ. They're about to fly in through the smoke. Can he at least take one down? He's able to get one, nearly two damage in to the reinforcements. Get there to finish off these kills. They've gotten set up inside, but the bomb carrier did fall. Is Scump now? Sorry, Arcee's now wants the worst to get this plant. Then he just jumps up onto the bar, and well, that doesn't go well for him. Draws on the flank, though. That takes him down. Guess what? En Envoy, he has to switch his angle up. So now the last two players stuck inside of this A site. 
And you see in all these different wall bang positions, that's why it's so difficult to get this bomb down. We saw it from TJ's point of view. Taking their time, just trying to lock them in. Our cities, they have to go for this soon. There's no way you rotate off this. Five seconds to plant. Just trying to catch a timing. And there we go. Plant's going to come in, and here they come. Can you catch them planning? And you now have a 3v1. Scump with the massive gunfight. Can they clutch up the two versus three? RC is going to drop. All going to be on Scump. Where is he? He got out. Scump 1v2. Got away from him. Got to the front door. Gets some shots. Gets away with his life. There's a team kill. There's a team kill. It's now going to be a 1v1. Hollow's just going to hop in. He's just going to hop in. He's got it. The check's going to come in. The check's going to come in. He's not going to get there in time. And the fuse goes through. So you get the team kill. But you get the defuse! Are you kidding me? Oh, you'd think so. Maybe not. DJ Scott Teddy popped and did get away to mid-map, but that call yeah, should be in the formal. DJ go. will get caught. Now maybe two versus four in the post-plant position. Tristini able to stay up. Flasher's gonna get flanked as well. All now to hollow. He takes down one, but cleans up instantly and hunts. Pretty darn good. <laughs> Huntsmen are taking this all the way over to B. It's going to be TJ that has to deal with this once again. A little bit of a different hit, though. Not quite up through mid-map. They're wrapping out through outskirts. Kenny trying to get to the angle, and Kenny's going to get it. He's able to take down Bristini. That's going to be bombed down for a moment. It's going to be picked up by Envoy, and he's going to instantly try and get this plant in. Really, it's finished. He does get it down. So the plant gets in, even though he drops. You've got more of a chance here if you're Huntsman. Not much of one, though. Not much yeah. of one, though. We got a smoke right away. Informal. Spot that X-ray vision. Can he hit this knife? Can he slow They're this round it. down? They're There's just it. so They're many different it. angles. There's the retake. Nothing's going to happen. I don't know where that landed. Maybe he didn't throw it. I don't know where that landed, but... What is Optic going to go for the bomb? RC's going to protect himself. Middle of the map, he still have Hollow watching the flank. Slasher just trying to get an angle. Trying, trying to get to get an angle. But they have to get the plan for Steve wins another gunfight. Yeah, if he would have got onto the rock a couple of times, he might have gotten the kill, but couldn't get into a spot. And Hollow will be the last to fall. Over. Stun doesn't connect. Maybe they won't know he's in this position. He's gonna pop that silence. He's gonna find a kill on Slasher. He's feeling confident. They'll know where another one is. They gotta plant the bomb. EJ just staying down. He's gonna try and challenge the next one. Win another big gunfight. Not able to do it. TJ probably seals the round there. It's all going to be on formal last alive. Trying to work the plant now in a one versus three. He's going to get it planted, but what do you do now? Well, you do that. You pop up. You take down one, but hollow. How early does the rotation come in from Huntsman? Envoy some damage in, but can't quite finish the kill. He's going to have to reposition for now as hollow eats the bullets. Yeah, this is already, I mean, almost 40 seconds off the clock. You do not have a lot of map position if you're optic. Finally, there's that rotation. They're just going to stack it, and why not? Why wouldn't you? There we go. Standing right behind it. They're lining up for him. Him and Formal able to get a flurry of kills. The optic push once again shut down. Huntsman, can they continue to hold? Bomb down a difficult spot. Formal goes big with two. Kenny last alive. And it looks like we may have burritos unless Kenny can pull off something. But he's got to somehow get the plant in. He's spotted on the cross. Not going to be able to do so. Not enough time to do it. It's round 11 time, Joe. It's been all defense. And who is on the attack? It's going to be Optic Gaming. I don't think you go back to B here. It was way too telegraphed. The only thing that's worked for them has been that A execute. And it looks like for right now, they're going to start in the middle of the map. Might be, that's not my... Uh, going. I don't know where they smoke. I'll see I things. Let's go middle. Let's go middle. Second story oh, of the boy. house. Pristini spots him, but Pristini gets smoked. He just gets evaporated. That's the first one for Optic. Now, what can you do behind it? The utility coming in over the top. It's not going to connect. The opening of the defense is there for Optic. I want top, I want top, top. 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 Can you go, hey, guys? I got one. Nice. Another one, nice. Close door. Back door's open. Yeah, door, door, push up, push up. Push door, push up. Back door, I think he's in. Back door, back door, back door. Back door, back door, back door. Back it's madness inside of the B house. Scump just trying to finesse, trying to get the kill. Envoy gonna be from outside. Down towards the middle of the map.
well. That's where Chicago's putting in their work. Art of Straps, though, with the read, even of these odds. Ready for the second challenge with no one there, and the bomb does get planted. 40 seconds on the clock. Once again, trying to now defend the bomb site. Gets it down. Dead silence is about to be finished. The peak around the corner. He versus Waskin. The shots are there. He saw him retreat, but he does not have the kill. Scump in from behind. Finds one. The shot's still ringing out as Scraps keeps his team in this one, and it's going to be Scraps on the stairwell. while Scump wins a huge engagement, and now it's a two versus two. RCT's keeping his team in this one, and it falls to Shawnee now. This is to push the round 11, and Shawnee makes it a one versus one. How far can he go with a few seconds on the clock? Scump, he just has to check this. He just has to check it. He gets the kill, and the Huntsman, they tie up the series. this one. Convoy on the hunt. Shawnee gets cut down immediately. Waskins though, he's still staying alive on the meat flag. This could be a little bit more damaging than expected as it's now a 12 point game. If the Huntsman can get back onto this one, and Ravens finally secure B. And they have to make the play, but they are getting decimated along the way. Dylan tries to be the playmaker. Formal always there in the B flag neutral, potentially getting capped up by Scum, but Scum doesn't need the flag. He needs the kills. Able to pick up one, and now starting to push out to look for even more. They're going 25 seconds out remaining, and again, where is gonna, London going to be making the push from? They've got to get themselves onto the B flag. They have to have someone overextend towards A as well. 20 seconds remain. It's still relatively tight. The chance it could well be it. 50 15 seconds on the clock and with these final few shots we could be seeing the Huntsman taking the lead in this series it is going out with a bang and obviously some killers waiting in their wings for the next series the Huntsman starting on that good side on St. Petro get off to a good start here and set yourself up long term for that success you see our one lone player there from London trying to make the flank it's an absolute war raging from the top side of the apartments Ravens do come out. And frankly, that's just a bunch of one-on-ones that Chicago comes out on top. Formal wins his one against Waskins. That's the big AR battle. And Scump on the flank was able to win his hit his one-on-one. -on -one. You actually see Shawnee has been able to wrap and go all the way around and try to fight for new. Chicago hunt him down and don't even have to give up any hard point time to make it happen. Ooh. The kill feed lighting up in their favor. Alex starting on play. Hasn't found a kill yet. Of course, in the hill, actually, Scump, by the way, just went pretty big. He was able to pick up two kills and get the contest time. And he's been able to just strip away so much time on the clock, and he's able to pick up even more. So you have massive plays on one end. Can't quite find any more. Shawnee cuts him down before getting into the hard point. It falls out of Pristini. Pristini shots down on the immediate prone under the table. Just keeping these players back. And it's once again Envoy. 11 and 6. Three kills in a row for him. Keeping the Huntsman looking very mean and sharp whatsoever. 10 seconds remaining now. Chance and mate, if this is an absolute blood. Good opening kills now from the Ravens. Can they make it four in a row? No. Christine Nugs involved. Envoy from down low gets two. He's going to stay alive. 15 seconds remaining. And Envoy, he may as well net that time himself. The Ravens have to play this absolutely perfectly. 35 seconds remain. They have to hold on. They have not had a lot of success in this hard point. Scump waiting for the opportune time to go for the break. There's the first kill. Now he makes his way forward. The King has risen and he's making his way out of the point. Can't get another one there on the Shawnee Arse. He's there to pick up the pieces. That could well be it, Chance. That could well be the map five now for the win. Huntsman are looking to break into the top three here. And that's it. The contest is there. On boy with the kills. It's done. Just have to keep that in the back of your mind. Pulling out all the stops here at Champs. You can't take anything with you into the next game, and Envoy knows that better than most. Here we go. Gunrunner up first. Envoy with the ram in hand. Up high he goes. RCs may find that first blood in mid. He actually finds the second, so Ram hasn't had to do a whole lot just yet. There goes the kill, and it's a beautiful start from the Huntsman. A couple of early kills, and now the overextension. Trying to flip spawns. Ram in hand once again. Envoy finds kill number two. Can't get the third. Sim's going to be there. Huntsman. Have been one foot ahead. Can they keep this one going as phase? Now they start to foot race across the map. It's going to be number five leading the charge. It's going to be a BZ Incelium in the forest. You can see the respawns there. The reinforcements for the Huntsman now starting to fortify this position. 
pressure might be coming all the way around the back of the map, and if it doesn't, Stump is going to be there on the side. And frankly, Faith, all five players converging on the tilt at the exact moment they need to. Stump able to take down one, and the break is there. Envoy's able to pick up two. Stump's able to pick up two. have to contend with another wave now of Faith players coming forward, but Envoy from behind. Envoy with the two. He's cut those reinforcements to pieces. Stump done the final five seconds. Now ring through. There's the contest. Is that going to be enough to get the win and the tick? It's over! He's now with a snipe. Nades are up. Trophies are up. You know the fight's here. This is it. It's all or nothing. Slight moments of panic while everyone just sort of rings out. And again, once the guns stop, that's when the real fight begins. Priest of the bomb going down. He's going to make this. Whoa, there it is from Beezy. First kill comes through. Asti's now still with that snipe in hand. Nade's still going over the top. The trophies are doing their job, saving these players from those projectiles. And Asti's, though, has been going pretty hard in the pixels thus far in this tournament. Snipe in this dying moment would be exceptional. But again, Sim in the trench finds another kill. Four versus three. Priest are backing him up. Over the top comes on, finds the first kill. Shots are going to be there. Major Maniac backs on up once again. That broken wall position as Priest that takes care of Scum. It's a 2v3. It's now a two versus one. Rustini. Got to do the magic here. Ten seconds remaining. Finds the first kill. Pristini makes his way forward. He's going to run out of time on the clock. And it's going to be done. Selium. He hides just long enough. Believe in the series, Chance. And what a run it has been. Gun Runner Dom. All phase. A couple of great moments from the Huntsman. But they have certainly come alive. The final 20 now. It is over, mate. It is finished. One slips through the packs and gets around and tries to flip those spawns. Major Maniac, the player's trying to do it. Pristini takes them down, and now you got the M4s in the hill. RCDs, big chill. Big chilling. But how long can you chill, though, really? Because the pressure is still there. We're seeing another phase. The bodies are starting to make their way forward. Scum's still chilling up the top here in apartments. And the RCD's still down low. I mean, he's just playing this box so, so well. Simply the MP5. Not able to get a lot done here at this kind of range. Just needs to wait for the enforcer shot. But again, there's a bit of a difficulty. The difficult situation right now for FaZe is like they've got to contest the hard uh, point. FaZe gotten a kill yet, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> I, stats, please. Stats, please. Stats, stats, please. FaZe got the... Bro, we there's no kills! FaZe have gotten a kill, FaZe bro. Don't have a is 0-5. Pristini on the seventh spree. No oh. one has died in 60 seconds. Finally, Pristini is going to fall. But bro, you talk about the perfect opening break. Literally, perfect opening break. 50 seconds before it's going to fall. FaZe, though, do a nice job after the hellhole that was the P1 of flipping those spawns and getting around back and trying to get the bounce back in the game. But good lord, Pristini Brother, has already managed to make his way forward. Forward. He's at he's at the first hard point now. He's trying to make his way forward as well. Final 30 remaining here in Chicago. Once again, light of the kill feed. 20, 25 seconds is all they're looking for. And the pressure's here coming from the back. Selling able to find one. But now the player's going on the hunt. If not, Envoy would have been stuck. But the cover's there. And FaZe gets the white. The AR showing up. But well, we go over to Pool Hall, Chance. And it's already Huntsman territory. Huntsman territory. They had the entire whoa, whoa. map under control. Stump able to pick up two, and no one's crossed the 50 yard line of the map. Finally, after taking down Stump, FaZe can begin to make their move, but still, they are so far away that Envoy doesn't even know where the pressure's coming from. Unbelievable stuff from Cell to stay alive, and now take the lead for Atlanta FaZe! Seven in a row! Cellium cannot die! He will not be stopped! Kill number seven before he goes down! Chance rotation underway. Phase in position. This is for the series. Huntsman, they get one shot at this. They're going to have three players flooding in through the front. Maybe four, maybe a couple flanks come in. But you get one shot for this break or you lose the game. Skump waiting for his teammates. For it. BC on the flank. Good timing, but not enough. The King cuts him down. 24-24 overall now. The crucial moments. This is five seconds for the win. The contest has got to be there. Huntsman, you got to go. You have to wait for the time. Skump's in on the contest, but no phase.
line is this when our cities came to me and said yo i want to run a main ar or the the possibility of him going to another team came up i immediately said oh man that sucks uh he's a good dude was great for content so for me it was it was one of those tough decisions that i had to uh, be on the hook for and either do the the right thing from a business perspective or do the right thing from a uh you know, from a from a from a human perspective, and I've never been the type to hold anybody hostage. He came to me and said, "Look, here are the reasons why I have to leave. Not I want to leave. He didn't want to leave, but he I have to leave. I want to run a main AR for the past uh, year and for the year before that. I haven't been able to run the role that I want to run. Did Face become better by having Alec on many levels? Absolutely. Did we become better by by getting getting uh, Brandon? Absolutely. So I, I think that we're gonna see who the best team is any given Sunday. We're shrinking the league by one more player across the entire league okay so 12 top tier players are being sort of um not renewed so now we have a total of four players per team 48 players that's the mathematics that are at the top of the top of the top one percent we have the one percent of the one percent so next year no matter what team you look at there's going to be contenders on every single match. The second that you join a lobby, there's a contender on the other side that is ready to beat that ass into the ground. And guess what? We're here for that smoke. And we're going to be handing it out. We're going to be receiving it. It's going to be a good competition season.